Hey everyone, it's day three of anniversary slash legacy week and we're taking a look at Pharaoh's Servant. We've had a pretty good week so far, opening up Invasion of Chaos and Spell Ruler. Invasion of Chaos kicked us off strong, Spell Ruler uh, wasn't as great, but we did get the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. So if you haven't seen those two videos, be sure to go check them out and then come back here and see if we manage to carry on our luck, at least in getting the big secret rares uh, in each set. Uh, we have hit both of the big ones. We got Chaos Emperor Dragon, and then we did get Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, so we're two for two on the big ones. So if we keep that streak alive, we'll get Jinzo this time. So uh, let's hope we do. We'll see what we get. Let's jump into it. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's see what happens here on day three. Pharaoh's Servant, I never really opened a lot uh, when, when I uh, was younger, so I've got a lot to, a lot I can probably get here that I, I've not seen, not really supplemented. I always uh, end up getting Pharaoh's Servant confused a bit with, uh, what is it, it's a uh, Magician's Force, and Still think they should do a Magician's Force one, but they're never going to. We got Michizuri, because they don't want to give anybody a reprint of Dark Magician Girl. But that's my uh that's my theory. I'm sticking to it. We got Hayabusa Knight and Numinous Healer. So we're going to start that conspiracy here is that they don't want to do any reprints of Dark Magician Girl from Magician's Force. Burning Land, we got Shift, and Infinite Dismissal is not a super. Gift of the Mystical Elf, Cold Wave, good card, Twin Headed Fire Dragon, Spike Bot, Dimension Hole. And Bombardment Beetle is just a common. I mentioned this before, I would not buy any of these packs separate. They are scalable since they do not have guaranteed rares in them. So if you see them on eBay, Monster Recovery, Armored Glass. If you see them on eBay, Loose Packs. I'm sure that you'll see people say, oh, I've gotten all the expected rares from them, etc. Yep, same problem that existed back in the day. People can weigh these packs, and they can have heavy packs and light packs and things like that. So do be on the lookout. Be aware that these can be weighed uh, because of that magic drain. And backup soldier as a super rare. Buying from a store, if you're in person though, obviously in a store, hopefully no one's taking a scale with them to a store for a number of reasons. Don't drive around with a scale in your car. We got Noble Man of Extermination and Bombardment Beetle. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain to the police if you have a scale in your car. Just driving around. Looks kind of suspicious. Minor Goblin Official, Souls of the Forgotten, Spike Bot. Morphing Jar number two, and Insect Barrier. Three-headed Guido, Cyber Falcon, Type Zero Magical Crusher, Inspection, Magic Drain, we got plenty of those, and Armored Glass, which I think were the exact order the last time we got that. Where's my Jinzo? We got Gradius, Driving Snow, Twin Headed Fire Dragon, we've got Thousand Eyes Idol, Gravity Bind, and we've got the Fiend Mega Cyber as our first ultra rare from the pack. So we did actually get one. That is good news. We'll get a sleeve out real quick. Make sure we sleeve our ultras. Got 
the gonna have to load out the deck with uh, the Fiend Mega Cyber for sure. World Suppression, we've got Prohibition, and we've got Limiter Removal as a super rare, which is probably still better than the Fiend Mega Cyber. Great for machine type decks. DNA Surgery, Ground Collapse, Overdrive. Oh my gosh. I skipped Appropriate, but that doesn't matter because nobody cares about Appropriate when we've got the Secret Rare Jinzo. Let's get this batch of cards behind it out of here. Nobody cares because the streak is alive. Look at this. Nobody cares about whatever that other card was behind it or in front of it. We're on an absolute hot streak with the secret rares in these sets. Never pulled Jinzo before. So I'm treating this as my personal first edition. Uh, <laughs> sure, it doesn't count that way, but uh, we'll... Uh, We'll pretend it does, for my purposes. Give it a nice little tap into the top loader. And we're clean all around. We've got Jinzo, guys. So I, I, I think that's worthy of a like. We're 12 packs in. You made it this far. Subscribe for Jinzo. Subscribe for the streak of Chaos Emperor Dragon, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, and Jinzo, three videos back to back. Hayabusa Knight, Magical Hats is a great super rare from the set overall. Oh man, I am just gonna need to cash in this luck somewhere. Uh, Got appropriate again. But I, I don't know. I I don't know if Konami's just making sure every pack has a secret rare in it. Every box does. Or what? Because I, I can't believe the luck. Overdrive, Force Requisition. DNA Surgery, Minor Goblin Official, Souls of the Forgotten, Time Seal. We got the Shallow Grave and Insect Imitation. Seven completed, Darkfire Soldier, Science Soldier, Burning Land. We got Mitch Izuri and Bubonic Vermin. There's definitely a good play in this set with like DNA Transplant and Insect Barrier. Change all your opponent's monsters to insects and Insect Barrier prevents insects your opponent's control from attacking. For sure somebody tried to use that. Mad Sword Beast. We got Grave Robber. It's a good trap card. Probably one of the better ones in the set. Gotta have some value there. Sword Hunter. Don't know where I was going with that. The only set that we don't want... In Legend of Blue Eyes, we want Blue Eyes White Dragon. So we want to make sure we get non-secret rares. Which is why I want to know whether Konami has manipulated the sets to make sure there is a secret rare in there. Because we want the Ultras from Legend of Blue Eyes. Because Guy of the Dragon Champion and Trihorn Dragon, which has got to be one of the worst secret rares of all time. Light Force Sword. Doesn't work like it does in the anime. <laughs> Play it like a... <laughs> Play it like Yugi does and activate it from the hand. 
Science Soldier, Burning Land, Skull Invitation, Numinous Healer. Gift of the Mystical Elf. Let's see, we got Time Seal again. Random Mercy. We got Vampire Baby, which is just creepy. Call of the Haunted is a great trap card. Definitely an older format. It's a great trap card. Don't ask me if it's a great trap card or modern times against like tier zero stuff. That might not be true. It might be hard to beat stuff in tier limits. Tier zero, cash tier stuff. Who knows? All right, last pack magic. Driving Snow, Cold Wave, Inspection, Gust. We got Prohibition again, and Flying Kamakiri number two. So that wraps us up. We did get, I didn't put this one in the top loader. We got Fiend Mega Cyber, and we got Call of the Haunted as Ultra Rares. And then the big one, we've got Jinzo. So we've kept our streak alive, and we'll head into day four with Metal Raiders hoping to hit it big again. So be sure to subscribe, check us out tomorrow. We're opening Metal Raiders and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.